Hi, sorry for the lack of video yesterday, I couldn't get my shadow play working. Uh, so today we're just going to quickly implement the inventory system. Uh, all we're going to do is render it and... So what we're going to do is we will, for now, uh, we're going to copy the Pokedex. C, control D. I just control D it now. I have to open the file manager. God damn you. Control C, Control V. Inventory. Out now, inventory. I'm blind. Um, I will never find the inventory. And I'll starve to death looking for it. Oh. Did I copy and paste the wrong script? I'm also stupid. Um, yeah, wrong thing. Okay, and then we'll rename that to inventory. There we go. So <clears throat> we have, so literally it's going to be exactly the same, except, I don't know, you want this to be different, so it moves on to the item. Uh, this will be description, this will be, um, sorry, this will be name, this will be description, this will be an image of your item, and we'll have a list of uh, inventory items that we render, much in the same way as we do with the Pokedex script, so I mean we could literally just duplicate that. Control C, Control V. We name that to Inven. Oh, that's the scene. Ah! Anyway, um, inventory dot. We want Pokedex dot GD. Control Z, Control V. Rename. Inventory.gd Change this script to Inventory Open up Inventory Stop it from uh, First up we want to rename this Pokedex items is now Inventory items. Uh, Pokemon image is now. Item image. And that's it. Maybe change that from that to description. Okay. Rename that to. Inventory, script, so we want to render all the inventory items, so just replace So, <clears throat> literally, the Pokedex item we can use again. Um, rename that to Inventory Items. Item Image. Item image, type to description, and change that to inventory. So, 
So we have name, sprite, description, and ID. We want to, so we want it to be name. What do we call the description? Just description. Right. Item sprite, sprite even. Okay. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, we need to have the uh, menu.gd open it. So, else if current label equals equals and what it is. Uh, menu. This is the importance of organization. Because this is like organized so, so badly um, that I can literally find nothing. Okay. Menu, rotate, zero, one, two. So we want to check if it's two. So. Menu to then just replace this with inventory. Oh, not damn C plus plus. That text, null instance, or null instance, meaning that we haven't changed all of these. Line 21. Get node uh, description. Change that to description. And 30. Until we get it right. Inventory. Not it. I think so. Okay, that's good, that's good. Uh, I don't think we referenced an item spike, did we? We did. Um. Oh, we need to... Set the sprite, so where do we set the sprite? Uh, we need to change I that the item image we have currently we want to change it, the texture so not set texture load So uh, just change set frame to set text. Okay, so all I did was um, add this code here, over here, and that automatically set the sprite to start with. So yeah, we're done here. Uh, we've set up the inventory. Uh, pop. Well, I have been requested to have the interaction between um, the inventory and the world 
So what we're going to be doing next time, hopefully, is um, implementing uh, that into action. So a player will be able to walk up to something. Um, but I'm unsure what type of interaction you would like to see. So um, if you just want to tell me if you'd like to see an interaction where a dialog box is opened and then we have to uh, confirm that we want to use the item. Or would you like it the item just to be used instantly and be more of a, a Minecraft inventory system where uh, the player just has a hotbar that they can use with the real world? So basically Stardew Valley is, is the implication I'm getting at. So um, if I don't get a response, I'll just, just stick with the Pokemon system. We'll have a dialog box that opens saying, hey, do you want to use this item? And then they'll say yes or no if they say yes we'll check if they have the item and then we'll use it so farewell i'll see you next time